Hello from OpenVPN. This video will focus on introducing the logging functionality of OpenVPN Access Server and how admins can query and utilize the log. I am connected to my demo access server here in the admin UI. I also have a terminal open so we can explore uh, the command line functionality as well. All log messages created by AS are sent to the var log openvpn as.log file and to a SQLite3 database. There is a page in the admin UI named log reports, so we can go there and check that out. On this page, you can query the log database to easily view records. All of the column headers here are sortable. So for instance, I can click on start time and view these records in a descending order. Right above the table is a filter records option. This is kind of a quick search option and you could put any value you would find in the log in here. I'll enter the beginning of a subnet and now I'll only get records that have that subnet somewhere within the record. This happens to be under the VPN IP. So I'll go ahead and clear that. Using the query options up above, here we click the radio button for the last and the options on the dropdown are hours, days, or minutes. So for instance, if I were to choose the last two days and query the log, then I'm only going to receive records for the last two days. This could be very helpful when troubleshooting, obviously. All Moving down to the next query option, the from and to text boxes, these can take dates and I could just enter a week ago, a date from a week ago, and then query the log and I'll receive all the records from the 14th of October until today. And these are sortable just like always. Finally, we have an option to limit the number of log entries. If I enter 10 and then query the log, then I'll get the last 10 records. And that's about all there is for this page. Now we can move to the command line. All of the functionality that is available in the UI is also available here, plus much more. If I go ahead and list out the, the var log directory, you'll see that the AS log, it, um, it rotates automatically. As I said before, log records are not only stored here, they're also sent to the log database. And the most efficient way to query the database from the command line is using the log DPA tool. That is located in our scripts directory, which is user local openvpn underscore as scripts. And there's our log DPA tool. Log DPA is actually a script, so we will launch it with the dot slash notation. And if I do log DBA dash dash help, you'll get a lot of output. As you, there's a lot of useful uh, parameters in here, and there's some helpful commands up top that can get you started, some examples. I will run a couple of queries so you can see how this works. As an example, I will query the same subnet that I looked for previously in the admin UI log reports page. And I'll use the VPN IP filt command, which is right here, this parameter. So I'll go log DBA, CSV format, uh, whoops, VPN IP filt equals the beginning of my subnet, and then the wildcard notation, I could go ahead and write out the entire subnet. And I should get records that only have that IP address somewhere in them, and there it is. There's my 192168. I can also query by service in here. So log DBA, CSV format again. Service, I believe it's filt, and VPN. And there we go. Now, in these records, I will not receive any records that have to do with web access, uh, UI access. These are all VPN records. There are a lot of options here. This is just scratching the surface of what the log DPA script can do. Uh, it can be very handy for troubleshooting and debugging. 
The last item I want to discuss in this video is the option for logging to syslog instead of the default openvpnas.log. Some organizations may prefer to have all logs sent to syslog. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is add one line to the as.conf file. That is located at user local openvpn underscore as etc as.conf. I'll cd to it. And then just open as.conf in an editor. Scroll down to the bottom. I'm already there. And you can enter syslog all caps equals one. Save that file and then restart the service. The service is restarted and that is it. Now all of those logs will be sent to the, the log database and syslog. That is all for this introduction to logging functionality of OpenVPN Access Server.